he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. And so his ghost has been giving it all. For he has made me glad. We just close our eyes for a moment with the intention so far. We also all also offer all our family and personal intentions through the intercession of St. Anthony into the hands of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, this beautiful afternoon we are all gathered here in the presence of God in this Eucharist to thank God for the wonderful gift of Saint Anthony, a preacher, a person who prays, intercedes. And I'm sure every one of us all our families gathered here are grateful for this wonderful saint and we've received lots of blessings through his intercession and as we thank god for this wonderful saint and as we celebrate this feast it is also good to ask ourselves receiving blessings have we been able to imbibe some qualities from the life of saint anthony his simplicity his prayer life his love for god his concern for others and for all the times we have failed, let's ask God's pardon and mercy. And let's ask Him to make us worthy to participate in this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts in my words, in what I have done. And in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, 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 my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, you gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and intercessor in their need. Grant that with his assistance we may follow the teachings of Christian life and we may know your help in every trial. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 52, verse 7 to 10. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of one who brings good news, who heralds peace, brings happiness, proclaims salvation, and tells Zion, your God is king. Listen, your watchmen, raise their voices. They shout for joy together, for they see the Lord's face to face. As he returns to Zion, break into shouts of joy together, your runes of Jerusalem. For the Lord is consoling his people, redeeming Jerusalem. The Lord bears his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the earth, ends of the earth, shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Yeah. 
Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 1 to 2, 5 to 7. Since we have an act of mercy been entrusted with the work of this administration, there is no weakening on our part. On the contrary, we have none of his resistance of those who have ashamed. No deceitfulness or watering down the word of God. But the way we commend ourselves to every human being is, a, is with conscience by with stating the truly open in sight of God. But for it is not ourself that we are preaching, but Christ Jesus as the Lord and ourself as your servants of Jesus' sake. It is the same God that said, Let there be light shine upon darkness, who has shown in our minds to radiate the light of the knowledge of God's glory, the glory on the face of Christ. We are only the earthenware jars that holds the treasure to make it clear that such an overwhelming power comes from God and not from us. This is the word of the Lord. Kindly raise for gospel acclamation. God is spoken to His people, Hallelujah, and it works our world to listen, Hallelujah. God has spoken to His people, Hallelujah, and it works. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel according to Saint Mark, chapter 10, verses 17 to 27. Jesus was setting out on a journey when a man ran up, knelt before him and put this question to him. Good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, 
why do you call me good no one is good but god alone you know the commandments you must not kill you must not commit adultery you must not steal you must not bring false witness you must not defraud honor your father and mother and he said to him master i have kept all these from earliest days jesus looked sturdily at him and loved him and he said there is one thing you lack go and sell everything you own and give the money to the poor and you will have treasures in heaven then come follow me but his face fell to these words and he went away sad for he was a man of great wealth jesus looked around and said to his disciples how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of god the disciples were astounded by these words but jesus insisted my children he said to them it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of god they were more astonished than ever in that case they said to one another who can be saved jesus gazed at them for men he said it is impossible but not for god because everything is possible for god and this is the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ it is said every human person is given the potential the capacity to become a saint and saint anthony accepted this challenge walked in the path and today the whole world honors him reveres him as a wonderful and great saint we all have looked at the statue of saint anthony three very important things we see with him we see him carrying jesus the second important thing you see the bible the third important thing he has a rosary i've been in this shrine for so many years and i've seen thousands of people coming to honor saint anthony and at time and again ask this question when you go to the statue of saint anthony you notice one thing very very special saint anthony never looks at us whom is he looking at jesus and i always tell saint anthony ko malum hai apan ko dekhe to kuch nahi milta if he looks at us he won't get anything but he looks at jesus as the bible says there is nothing impossible for god nothing impossible for god this wonderful statement saint anthony believed when he looks at jesus now one year is inclined to us he listens to every prayer that comes to him he listens he offers it to jesus and then from jesus brings in blessings give it to us this is his wonderful task my brothers and sisters if i ask you i'm sure every person sitting here will very confidently tell me father we have received some blessing or other from saint anthony i love little children a lot to learn about spirituality from them now if your son or daughter wants something from you what will they do early morning they will come and stand beside you and they will tell you only two things no agar tumhara beta ya beti ko kuch chahiye subah subah kya karte aapko aake baju thahar jate thahar ke kya karte maska marte rehte do cheez bolte sabse pehli cheez mummy ab bahut acche the fill in the blanks acche bolte the brother dusri baat mummy i love you mummy two things your child will tell when they want something one mummy you are very 
Nice, very good. Second thing they will tell you is, I love you. And be sure, the immediate question that mommy is going to ask is, what do you want, beta? Terko, kya chahiye? Now, the son or the daughter will tell his need. He will get what he wants. With a nice big smile, he will walk out. Now, the best part comes in the evening. Poor mommy, from office, from work, from school, she comes back, tired, weary, sits on the sofa and calls the son or the daughter to get a glass of water. Beta kaha? Beti kaha? Jo milna hai? Apna rasta? Naap liya. What he wants, he got and he's already gone his way. And I tell people, we are almost the same. That's why the Bible says we are still small children. Spiritually, we are still small. We come to St. Anthony, we ask his intercession. Jesus, through the intercession of St. Anthony, gives us a blessing. We say thank you and then we go away. No? I tell you, my brothers and sisters, sometimes our relationship with God, our relationship through the intercession of our saints is like the ATM card. How is the ATM card? You take the ATM card and go to the bank only when you need money. Jate, card lagate, code marte, paisa nikalte, card nikal lete, but me, apna rasta apna, ATM ka rasta, ATM ka. Now, St. Anthony had a very special quality. He depended on God for everything. All that he taught was, I must do the will of God. Nothing else was in his mind. He was a proclaimer of the good news. I tell people, it is not enough that I take blessings, I receive blessings. I know we all the good old saying, man receives and receives and receives and then forgets. God gives and gives and continues giving. Now, when we are celebrating this wonderful feast, when we are thanking God for this wonderful saint, it is also good to ask ourselves, are we taking some quality from the life of St. Anthony into our own personal life? We all have come to say, thank you St. Anthony for the blessings. Is it over? No. Somebody told me for today morning, Father, one blessing over. Now I come to ask, one more blessing. I remember some years back, I was in Mutangi. I met this young man, no, who was very sad, worried. He came and told me, Father Vijay, please pray for me. I don't have a job. I said, okay, son, I will pray for you. After two months, he came and told me, Father, I got a job. I thought he got a job. He is very happy. He will go to Jesus and say, thank you, Jesus. He didn't go. He said, Father, job, sab theek hai, Father. Lekin tanka bhot kam hai. Thoda aur thoda dua karo. Tanka thoda bad jaye. Pray, Father, I must get a better salary. I said, okay, son, I will pray for you. After four months, he came and told me, Father, I got a bonus. I thought, at least now he will go inside and say, thank you. He didn't go. He had one more request. I said, now what? He told me, Father, also pray from my house till the office. It is very far. A chota sa bike. I said, okay, son, I will pray for you. Seven months after, he brought a brand new bike. He told me, Father, please bless it. I bless the bike. I told, very good. And I thought, at least now he will go and say, thank you. He said, Father, one more request. I said, now what? He told me, Father, rent house, Father. Ek chota sa ghar chahiye. I said, beta, dua karunga. I prayed. After one and a half year, he came, Father, I got a nice house. Please come and bless. I went blessed. I thought at least when he comes back and drops me back in the center, he will go to the blessed sacrament and say, thank you. He didn't go. So I understood there was something more coming up. I said, beta, ab kya? Bola, Father, public mein kaisa bolo mein? Samajdar log hai, hasre dekho. Now this is what man is. As much as he gets and gets and gets, 
there is no gratitude. Saint Anthony, the first thing my brothers and sisters depended upon God. He lived a very simple life holding on to God. He had a heart of gratitude. That's why he went forth proclaiming the good news. He is called a preacher of the good news. So the first question as devotees of Saint Anthony, you and I should ask ourselves is, do I depend upon my God? Second, am I and you a proclaimer of the good news? I ask people, what is the good news? People tell, Bible Father, Word of God Father, this and that. What is the good news? Saint Anthony always had Jesus with him and Jesus was the good news. Our question today is, do I have the good news? Do you have the good news? Do we carry Jesus wherever we go? Not only he had Jesus, he had the power of God's word. It is said when he preached, even the fish of the sea heard what he said. People didn't want to listen. Why? Somebody told me, Father, people are very busy. They don't have time to listen. The fish of the sea heard the word when he proclaimed. And last but not least of all, my brothers and sisters, the biggest quality, the secret that he learned, the secret was this, pray for others. And I tell people, in, even in our prayer, we have become a little selfish. How do we pray? Lord, please bless me. Second, bless my family. Third, bless my relatives. Then only, bless others. See that. The secret of prayer, my brothers and sisters, that Saint Anthony teaches us is this, this. The more you pray for others, the more God blesses you. The more you pray for other families, the more God blesses your family. This is the secret of prayer. I remember I went to a school for a retreat. And I went to the school for the retreat. A fourth class boy gave me a prayer request. And what was the prayer request? The prayer request is this, Father, please pray for me. My exams are coming. I should study well and get good marks. I said, I was so happy. I said, fourth class fellow is giving me a prayer intention to pray for him, pray for his exams. But then, when I f opened the paper a little more, there was one more very important line, underlined in red. Underlined in red. I was very curious. I thought, now what? But this must be. So I read. It read this way, Father, also pray for me. I should get one mark more than the boy sitting next to me. Now what is this called? What is this called? Selfish prayer. Now, my brothers and sisters, if we have really understood God, God has such a lot, how much ever it gives, He gives and gives, it will never become less. We only know mathematics with our head. We don't know the mathematics of God. Our mathematics is like this. If I have 10 apples, if I give to 10 people, apples are over. In the, in the, in the mathematics of God, if God has 10 apples and He gives 10 apples, still He has 10 apples. Now this is the calculation of God. We try to understand God with our small, little, mathematical mind and we never understand this. Saint Anthony understood. No use. Pray for others. More God blesses them and more God blesses you. Saint Anthony understood. More pray for other families. More God blesses our family. And my brothers and sisters, as we thank God for the wonderful patron Saint Anthony, as we have received numerous blessings from his intercession. Today, let us make a choice, a decision. Not only that I receive blessings, I will imbibe some quality of His in my life. From today morning, we have been seeing thousands of devotees flocking to this place. Thousands of devotees thanking God for the intercession of Saint Anthony. And as we go back, let us not just go back that I received a blessing, I will receive a blessing. Also make a choice, also make a decision. I will take up some quality one quality at least from the life of Saint Anthony into my life. So that next year when I come for the feast, I will not only say thank you Saint Anthony, I will also be able to say I have been able to live at least one quality. No? And we all know the tongue of Saint Anthony is still intact. It is not corrupted. No? Saint Anthony ka zaban abhi tak sada hua nahi hai. Usi tara hai jis tara pehle tha. Why? Because his tongue was used for God. 
his tongue proclaimed god his tongue did not tell anything against god nor against the others so we still every year celebrate the feast of saint anthony's tongue other day i was giving a retreat in bangalore i asked the people when we die what will happen to our tongue what will happen to our tongue somebody told me father subbe gaad ke rakha to shaam tak sad jayega no morning if they bury us by evening our tongue will get corrupted my challenge today my brothers and sisters we all are going to receive jesus on to this tongue and my challenge is can the tongue that receives jesus speak ill about others can the tongue that receives jesus speak bad about others can the tongue that receives jesus use bad words can the tongue that receives jesus tell a lie and this is a challenge saint anthony puts before us his tongue is still fresh intact not corrupted can you and i who thank god for the wonderful saint of saint anthony who have received blessings from saint anthony with a grateful heart tell this saint we too will use our tongue for the glory of god and nothing else the bible says our tongue is given only for two purposes one is to praise god second is to bless others let's all close our eyes for a moment let us thank god for all the blessings and favors we have received through the intercession of this wonderful saint saint anthony let us raise up our heart in gratitude to god let's also offer all our prayers and petitions said and unsaid through this eucharist into the hands of god that the intercession of saint anthony through the power of jesus which said there is nothing impossible for god may be fulfilled in our lives may be fulfilled in our families may be fulfilled in our parish and families let us all stand up for the creed i believe in god father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the power of the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary he suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended on the third, on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven and he sits at the right hand of the father he will come again judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen shall we all close our eyes keep our hands open before us united in heart and mind let us offer all our prayers and petitions to god loving father we pray for the holy mother church the pope the cardinals the bishops priests and all the people of god that we may live a life that is pleasing to god holy and pure a life towards purity towards sainthood so that we all may be witnesses of him in this world for this we pray to you o lord let our response be lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all the devotees who come into this shrine for all the families that step into this shrine we pray for all their intercession blessings for their life blessings for their family blessings for their children health strength and a bright future let every devotee every devotee's family that steps into this shrine go back home with a blessing through the intercession of saint anthony for this we pray to you o lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for the sick and the suffering lord as you walked on this earth you touched the sick and the suffering restored health of body and mind gave them the strength lord to glorify you touch lord all those people who are suffering all those who are lonely all those who are nobody to care for especially those suffering from incurable diseases that your presence your healing touch may restore health and strength to them for this we pray to you o lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all the children and the youth as they begin this new academic year give them lord health of body and mind give them lord wisdom and knowledge give them lord the strength according to jeremiah 29:11 a bright future filled with hope for them for this we pray to you o lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for the archdiocese of hyderabad the bishops 
the priests, the nuns, the religious, and all those serving God. Bless our bishop, bless all the priests and the nuns, that they may work for the glory and the power to build your kingdom in this place. For this, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the persecuted Christians and Catholics all over the world. Give them the strength, Lord, to stand for your way. To give them the strength, Lord, to proclaim your good news to the world. For this, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a moment silent, let us offer all our prayers, both family and personal, through the intercession of St. Anthony into the hands of God. Lord, loving Father, as we offer all our prayers said and unsaid, believing you are a God who listens to us and answers us, with a heart of gratitude, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Things in the past, things yet unseen, wishes and dreams that are yet to come true. All my acclaims, the joy and the pain. For your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you. Brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise, for the praise, praise and glory of His name for, a good for our good and good of His holy church. Let us pray. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Saint Anthony, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, govern us to a pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on this festival of St. Anthony, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his faith, words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his praise. And so with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Angai o sana, tu raja Amara Guna, 
let's all kneel down and pray this is a very holy and precious time you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks broke it gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks gave to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this wine we proclaim your death for Jesus until you come until you come in glory therefore as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may gather into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and tumabala our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint anthony of padua and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen as we are in the presence of a loving father with faith and confidence stretching out our hands and asking that father to lift us up to bless us let's pray the beautiful prayer that the lord has given us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who died to give us life and life to the full. Happy are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. The
may partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high. In all who celebrate the feast day of St. Anthony, we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God the glory and of joy of the saints who has caused you the strength and by means of their outstanding prayers bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Free through their intercession from this present and formed by the example of the holy way of life may you be devoted in serving God and your neighbor Amen. so that together with all who may possess the joys of the homeland and the holy church rejoice her children are admitted in the perpetual peace in the company of the citizens of heaven Amen. and may the blessing of the almighty God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Let's all stand up for a moment. Andramakanimisham Leshdal Bardama. Close your eyes. Kalanama Sunshan. Me Kudi Shetani Prabhu Vaipu Chapan. Raise up your right hand to the Lord. Offer your sickness and pain. Offer your burden and cheer. Raise up your right hand to the Lord. Me kudi chayini prabhu vaipu chapatu. Me jeevitam lona samasyanu. Me jeevitam lona bhadanu. Me jeevitam lona atankani. Me jeevitam lona shapa papa bandhanani. A prabhu undu do chapan. Every bondage of your life. Every sickness of your life. Every problem of your life. Every tear of your life. Give it to Jesus. And he is asking you. My son, my daughter. What do you want? What are you going to answer him? Yem chapa bhotu naru aprabhu naku. Vishwasam tu adagani. Ask in faith. Ask in faith. For the Bible says, there is nothing impossible for God. Devun ki asadhyam mainadi yeti yun ledu. Amen. Pray for your family. Me kutumam kosum pratinshan. Kutumam la prati yuakar ni peru peru na devniki summer pension. Offer every member of your family to God. Anyone sick in your family who couldn't come here, raise up your hand and pray for them. Me kutumam la yavrena vyadi vedana tonte, varikara rale kapoyarante, me cheyi paikati, vadi devniki summer pinchi pratinshandi. And my brother, my sister, may your prayer give a blessing, a healing for that person Amen. whom you are praying Amen. today. You are going to be the practice to now. Where you can do now, they would have any talky, swasta parachino gaga. Pray for a moment. The mighty blessing of God upon us. So many of you can feel the touch of God. There are so many of you, almost 44 people who do not get a proper sleep who are disturbed and having terrible dreams during the sleep. Nalpai nalgu mandi, premana sahodri sahodulara, chakati nidra patadu, pita kalalu vasthu untundi. Irochu, devani sanidulo pratisthana samayamlo, devudu, ah nalpai nalgu mandi ki, vidalanistu vunadu. 44 people receive healing Amen. and the breaking of a bondage from a terrible dreams and sleep today. Amen. Pray, my brother. Pray, my sister, in faith. Vishwasam to pratinshan. There are 13 people who have applied for visas to go abroad for work and studies. God opens the door of blessing into their lives. Padamodu mandi. 
బయటికి వెళ్ళాలని విసా కోసం అప్లై చేసి ఉన్నారు ఉద్యోగము కోసము చదువు కోసము దేవుడు అలాంటి పదమూడు మందిని దీవిస్తూ ఉన్నాడు అన్ని ఆశీర్వాదాలతో వారిని పంపబోతున్నాడు దెర్ ఇస్ వన్ పర్సన్ who is suffering from kidney problem the doctors have told him he has to do dialysis for his kidney but he has come here to pray through the intercession of saint anthony to be healed and the lord his faith is being blessed and he is being delivered from this amen. sickness amen 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 my beloved parents raise up your hands and pray for your children tali tandrulara mee cheetulena paiketti mee bidala kosam prarthinchandi thank god for the gift of your children devudu ichina santanam kosamu devuniki vandanalu krutagyatalu arpinchandi offer them back to god and claim jeremiah 29:11 for them irmaya grandhamu 29 adhyayamu 11th vachanamu vaagdhanamu ga vari kosam kori prarthinchandi pray for your family every husband pray for your wife every wife pray your husband parents pray for your children children pray for your parents bartha bariya kosam bartha bariya bartha kosam talli tandrulu bidala kosam bidalu talli tandrulu kosam ee parishuddhamaina samayamlo prarthinchandi neenu pilusthe పరుగున విచేస్తాడు నేను స్తుస్తే నా ప్రార్థన లకిస్తాడు నేను ఏడుస్తే నాలించి ఓదారుస్తాడు ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయిసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ ask god to fill your life fill your family with his love tana goppa prema tho mee jeevithanni tana goppa prema tho tana kutumbanni nimpumani aa prabhu un korandi చేస్తాడు నేను స్తుస్తే నా ప్రార్థన లకిస్తాడు నేను ఏడుస్తే నాలించి ఓదారుస్తాడు ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయసుది నేను పేలుస్తే విచ్చిస్తాడు నేను స్తుస్తే నా ప్రార్థనాలకిస్తారు నేను ఏడుస్తేస్తారు ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమాయసుది నన్ను వెంబడించమని యేసు పిలిచారు తానే వెలుగై నాకు మార్గమయ్యారు నన్ను వెంబడించమని యేసు పిలిచారు తానే వెలుగై నాకు మార్గమయ్యారు 
శాంతినిచ్చినాకు శాంతినిస్తున్నారు శాంతినిస్తున్నారు ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయిసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ విలిచాల్ ఓడి ఎండి అరిగిలెత్తుం ఒన్ను స్తుచాల్ అవనిండి మనం తోరకుం ఒన్ను కరంజాల్ ఓ మనిచ్చన్ మీరి తోడకుం ఓ ఎత్ర నల్ల స్నేహమెండి ఈశో ఓ ఎత్ర నల్ల స్నేహమెండి ఈశో నేను పరుగుణ వచ్చేస్తారు నేను స్తుస్తే నా ప్రాధనాలకిస్తారు నేను ఏడుస్తే నాలుంచి ఓదారుస్తారు ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయిసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయిసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమాయసుది ఓ ఎంత గొప్ప ప్రేమ నాయసుది ఓ యంత్ర నల్ల స్నేహమెండి అందరం మొక్కరించుదాము ప్లీజ్ మేక్ ప్లీజ్ మేక్ వే ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ విల్ బి బ్రింగ్ ఇన్ ద బ్లెస్ సాక్రమెంట్ క్లోజ్ టు యూ దయచేసి మధ్యలో దారి వదిలిపెట్టండి సప్రసాదం మీ వద్దకు తీసుకొస్తూ ఉన్నాము ప్లీజ్ మేక్ వే ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ అండ్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ యూ డు నాట్ స్ట్రెచ్ అవుట్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ అండ్ టచ్ ద బ్లెస్ సాక్రమెంట్ మనవి చేస్తూ ఉన్నాను చెయ్యి చాపి సప్రసాదము తాకకూడదు అని మనవి చేస్తున్నాను ఐఎమ్ బ్రింగింగ్ ద బ్లెస్ సాక్రమెంట్ క్లోజ్ ద టు యూ టు బ్లెస్ యూ డు నాట్ స్ట్రెచ్ అవుట్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ అండ్ టచ్ ద బ్లెస్ సాక్రమెంట్ సప్రసాదం మీ వద్దకు మిమ్మల్ని దీవించాలని తీసుకొస్తూ ఉన్నాను దయచేసి చెయ్యి చాపి సప్రసాదము తాకకూడదు అని మనవి చేస్తున్నాను కిప్ నీల్ డౌన్ కోప్ యూర్ హ్యాండ్స్ ఓపెన్ pray for the blessing of god upon your life upon your families mokarinchi chetulanu chaapi saprasada prabhuvu mimmalni mee kutumbalani deevinchalani prarthinchandi amen jesus comes closer to you to bless you he comes closer to you to walk with you mee vadda vachi mee tho nadavalani mee vadda vachi mimmalni deevinchalani prabhu korutunnadu so worship him and receive his blessings aa deva devuni stutinchi devuni aashirvadamlo swikarinchandi అత్యునతన సింహాసనముపై ఆసీనుమైన దేవా అత్యున్నత ప్రేమాసూపివేనీవే ఆడా తింటు నిన్నే అత్యున్నత సింహాసనముపై
blessing of the Almighty, all-powerful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you, upon your families, and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and O thanksgiving, be every moment thine. O Stand up, shall we thank and praise God? And the relation of the body, Deva the Devniki Vandana, Lukrutinatulu, Tapadlo Santo Shamoto, Prince Antoni Varimak de Chesina, then a Pratana Dwara de Chesna Prati, Melo Kosamo, Kutinata Vandana to Devnis to Tinch. Let's thank God for the wonderful patron Saint Saint Anthony, whose intercession we received number of blessings into our lives. Let us thank, worship, and adore God. Tegnete stotra muro, Jesu mi stratisha nam sutin che dalo. Kurtanete stotra muto, Jesu mi pratiksha nam sutin che dalo. Al shaya garudu, al shaya gerta, al dukoni kandri mara prabhu. Al shaya garudu, al shaya gerta. Adukoni tanri mara prabhu Kutanetha stotra muto Yesu ni pratikshanam stuti chadamu Kutanetha stotra muto Yesu ni pratikshanam stuti chadamu What a mighty God we serve! Amen. What a mighty God we have! What a mighty God we have! What a mighty God we have! Let us bless the God we have! What a mighty God we have! What a mighty God we have! What a mighty God we have! Gopa Devudu mana kunnaru Gopa Devudu mana kunnaru Gopa Devudu mana kunnaru Gopa Devudu mana kunnaru Chappatlu kutti paadetamu 
చప్పట్లు కొట్టి తాడదము చప్పట్లు కొట్టి తాడదము చప్పట్లు కొట్టి పాడదము ఫోర్ దిస్ ఇస్ 